My name is Alfred Tatum, and I am excited to announce the forthcoming annual conference of the Literacy Research Association. As this year's conference chair, I am pleased that we received more than 900 proposals that align with our theme, interrogating hierarchies, building a humanitarian literacy research architecture that binds. Many of the world's leading literacy scholars will convene at the Hilton Atlanta in Georgia from November 29th through December 2nd. I invite all in Atlanta and beyond who are interested and who can benefit from the most recent literacy research to join us. This is another high point across the international landscape for literacy research. Government agencies and policymakers, schools and school leaders, community leaders, parents and others are grappling with and seeking to define the roles of reading, writing, language, and knowledge among vertiginous cultural and technological shifts that warrant responsive and forward-looking research that shapes new promises and possibilities without eroding strong research foundations that have served so many so well for so many years. Still, we have stubborn hierarchies, geographic, economic, political, cultural, racial, and academic that must be interrogated to form responsive questions, to yield new findings, to generate consequential data, and ultimately to build a humanitarian architecture that binds. Fortunately, the literacy research community has seriously embraced these charges to explore how we can leverage methodological and theoretical strengths to break down barriers and pave the way for positive life outcome trajectories. By building a humanitarian literacy research architecture that binds, we aim to ensure that literacy in all of its forms becomes a powerful tool in uplifting humanity. Research can no longer afford to miss the mark. Real lives are at stake. This year's conference will feature two of the world's most thoughtful educators, Dr. Donna Ford and Dr. Tyrone Howard. I was thrilled when they both said yes when asked to deliver plenary addresses to the literacy research community. I am sure their messages will elevate all under the sound of their voices. This will be true as well for the other major addresses, one of which will be delivered by LRA's president, Doris Walker Dollhouse. I also look forward to the annual integrative research review panel, during which time leading scholars will provide their perspectives on this year's theme. I anticipate this year's conference will be one to remember. So please join us in Atlanta. Phineas Boyd, this year's conference co-chair and I look forward to giving you a warm welcome.